Hi, and welcome to Let's Play Super Metroid. I mentioned I was going to be doing this Let's Play as soon as I got my controller situation worked out. This is uh, actually the third game in the Metroid series. He'll actually be flashing Metroid 3 on screen in a moment or two. Um, I have a fan blowing. I don't want that coming through the microphone, so if it sounded like I was in a hurricane up to a second ago, the fan was why. As for the game, this is probably my favorite game of all time. It's definitely up there. Top 10, definitely. Top 5, most definitely. Um, it's an action ex exploration platformer type game. Uh, yeah, I'd actually started playing this, and unfortunately the emulator decided to crash on me mid-video, so this will be round two. The first one was just a video test, so... Yeah, just gonna set up my controllers. I'm not, I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to be doing this video. For the most part, it's going to be... I'm gonna be shooting for a, uh, about a hundred percent of I'm gonna try to grab everything. I might miss something here and there. It's, I'm not gonna go nuts. Like, if I missed something way across the map or at the end, I'm probably not gonna go trek over and get it. The last um, Metroid is in captivity. Um, as far as getting around, I'll show off little tricks and, and glitches and sequence breaks here and there, like the... Well, I guess it's the second boss in the game. I'm going to be probably bypassing to get super missiles early. And I'll beat the first boss with super missiles. I'll actually beat the first two bosses pretty easily with super missiles. Um, some other little things here and there. I'll be getting the ice beam early. Um, I'll be getting super bombs early, probably. Depending on how well a certain particular um, thing decides to cooperate. So yeah, hopefully this will be enjoyable for everyone to watch. This video, I'm only actually going to do the intro series station. I'm not actually going to get into the game. Um, I'll leave that, the first chunk of exploration on Zeebs, for the actual, for the second video. So there's a little more content to it without me having ba babbled on about random stuff for 5-10 minutes. So yeah, let's go into this. So yeah. Samus just got back from a mission, defeated the pirate, the space pirate Mother Brain, and just destroyed most of the Metroids, but found one larva which she brought back to a research station. I got some old scientist guy congratulating her, thanking her, rather. And we've made the biggest scientific discovery in, well, ever. And look at them go, I mean, they're working hardcore on that thing. Hunt, and I kind of skipped through that too quick. She was barely out of the asteroid belt and got a distress call that Serious Station was under attack. So, as usual, you know, any game, if it's always up, the main character who gets left to clean up all these messes. And right, I mean, the, this game you saw there, the uh, Mode 7, as Samus' ship flew back to the space station. I mean, back when this game came out, 16, 17 years ago, actually, this was 1994. I mean, this was big. This was like the game with the graphics. You got the scrolling parallax background. I mean, it's just... Uh, Big, big deal back in the day. I mean, even now, the graphics are definitely not bad. Um, this looks, look, looks a little like that research room where they had the larva. I guess all those scientists are dead. It's as I shoot one of them in the head. Okay, they look dead, we're gonna leave them there. Okay. Oh, well, here's the larva. Nothing's going on in here. Let's get back. Door going open. Shit, it's a, uh, what's that? Uh -oh. uh, it doesn't look like he's supposed to be in here. Where he 
idea is supposed to be in here. He wasn't here to begin with, maybe? Maybe that could give this guy the metric larva. Because he's the reason... He's the guy who tackled Space Station, man. So this is, uh, sort of the boss... The first boss fight, but it's a mandatory launcher fight. You can't really win or lose this fight. I'm gonna try to go for the win, but it doesn't always cooperate. Sometimes you screw up a little too much. As you keep hitting it, it slowly change color, so it's starting to get a little bit more red. It's gonna be bright red pretty soon. If I get hit one more time, he won't. And I'm gonna hit again, but I got a little more red there at the end. If you get too low on health, or get him low on health, both cases, he ends up leaving and then this, uh, this station gets, becomes under attack. We gotta call ass and get the hell out of here. This is actually not too terribly difficult to do, but uh, depending on how the little steam jets coming out of the floor and walls there, and in this room too, you can lose a little bit here. Get hit by falling ceiling tiles. Uh -oh. Space. But, uh, yeah, oh, this room isn't doing too hot. Whoa, look at that. We got back up to the elevator to our spaceship, and now we're going to oh, uh, We're going to make it. We're going to make it. Yeah, we made it. Can't have the main character die 30 seconds into the game. Are you kidding? There we go. Treating that back down to the planet Zebs. Zebs. I'm probably gonna end up switching back and forth through that, but how I pronounce pronounce it. I'll probably stick with Zebs. Could might be Zebs, could be Zebes, Ze Zebis, whatever. I'm just going with Zebs. Zebs. Something. I don't know how I'm gonna pronounce it. Pronounce it however the hell I feel like it. So I'll probably only actually say it like once through the rest of this video. Or through the video, through the rest of this let's play. Um, yeah, so I guess we've landed. Yep, yep, yeah, we can pop back in our ship. I'm not actually injured right now, but you can recharge and rearm. You can also save your game at the spade here at the ship. It's kind of our little, uh, home base on the surface of the planet. And, uh, that'll actually be it for this first episode of Let's Play Super Metroid. Next time we'll get into the, the main game and start exploring this planet. Um, yeah, so uh, have a nice day.